um, I knew that this moment was coming. Can you all hear me? Because I'm, I'm speaking, I have two mics. Um, I knew that this day was coming uh, for the past year because last year when I did a speech much like, much like Jim's, Colette gently reminded me that this year there's no vote. You all didn't need to vote me in. I just am installed, which is what she just did. So last year she said, there's no turning back. You're on. So I've been thinking about my role I've been thinking about Colette, I've been thinking about who would come after. And I wanna be a little radical. I think most of you in the room know me. At least half the room have been my mentor. At least half of you have mentored me through my career. So I have all of you to thank. So then, therefore, that means all of you will also give me my due in perhaps being bold with some of my statements today. All of you in this room are leaders. All of you have a story to tell. You have your own stories. I believe that goodness comes from the relationships that we build over time, relationships developed by conversation. You all should have received from me a gift because you're part of the leadership this year. I wanted to embrace you. So I gave you a lapel pin and a lifesaver, and they both have some meaning, which you're about ready to find out about if you continue to listen and put your devices down. <laughs> As you work with me this year and support me this year and the other leaders sitting next to you, there's two things that I hope you will agree to help me with. The first is to start the conversation by wearing your lapel pin and read two books. One was mentioned this morning, Lead in, and Lean In, and the other is It's Not Just Who You Know by Tommy Spaulding. I'd love for you to have a conversation with me this coming year about what those two books mean to you. And it's interesting that Lean In is a book like, I didn't expect her this morning um, to discuss that when she was facilitator multi-generational um, conversation this morning, but my dad was the one who sent my two boys the book Lean In for them to read. My dad's 90. He was 87 at the time he sent my two boys that book. And he had circled certain passages. How cool is that? So I ask that you read those two books, start some conversations with me and with others that you find um, in the room who should be reading those books if you do your homework. The second thing that I would like for you to do with me is to pick up the trash, to be a lifesaver, and that's why you have a lifesaver. I believe you're here today because you have something to offer the person next to you and many people you have not yet met. But you'll only be successful if you start a conversation. I challenge each of you to write a piece, any piece, to any Virginia Society of CPAs publication, digital, in print, doesn't matter. And talk about something you love about the profession. Every one of you in this room has a story. My mom, Louise Germano, is no longer physically with me, but she taught me many things about people. She did not work outside the home I was raised in, but she left that mark with me. People value relationships, and without them, we do not thrive. It builds strong communities. She was a dedicated volunteer. So start the conversation and take advantage of being here today. Create a goal, challenge yourself to meet three new people you wanna stay in touch with over this year. And meet up with them, plan to meet up with them and at another VSCPA conference this year. Plan which conference that might be. Include me in that conversation, please. For me, those conversations and those relationships since 1984 have been the most valuable investment I made in my professional life. Not all of us are born leaders, but we all have the ability to be equal partners to pick up the trash. Our country's richness of resources has invaded our heads and our bodies. We talk, walk by, we'd walk by trash on the road and we keep walking, thinking someone responsible will surely pick it up. Now, do I really mean literally go out and pick up the trash? Well, yes and no. 
It'd be really kind of cool if everyone in your neighborhood took a walk after dinner and picked up the trash. Great exercise, fresh air, that would be kind of cool. We'd have cleaner neighborhoods, we'd get to know one another. But for you, this group here in front of me today, who are the leaders with me this year, I really mean mentally pick up the trash. Your leaders, pick up the trash, be responsible, be bold. Do not think someone else will come by and pick up the trash that you walk by. Help others to understand what they need to do to be responsible citizens. That's what I mean about picking up the trash. Even if you are specialized like me, you can teach kids how to reconcile a checkbook. You are the best person to do that. You are the ideal person to do that. Now I have some people to thank, and I apologize, really, more than half the room I could thank, and it would be really boring if I did that. So just know that so many of you who know me well and lots of different capacities over my career, you're the reason why I'm here. However, the first one I want to mention, and as I call your name, please stand up, Pat. My sister, Pat, is here, and I want to thank her most especially for the smart and sage advice. She's my older sister. She has given me, you know, the older sister. She's my older sister, sage advice all the time. My sisters, Diane and Joanne, were not able to be here, nor my dad, who's down in South Carolina playing golf at age 90. He had a hole in one two weeks ago. I mean, all right, okay. So this is, this is what I have to look forward to. I don't play golf, but he had a hole in one at age 90, and he's pr so proud of it. It's not the first one. My dad was also part of the greatest generation's callback um, to those who were in the Pacific Theater for the 70th anniversary of Iwo Jima. He was one of those special people that you read about in the paper. That was my dad. My dad was part of that group. My kids, Liam and Colin, Colin's representing both he and his brother. <clears throat> that means you need to stand because I called your name. <laughs> Colin has known me less time than so many of you. Isn't that, look, stay, he's standing here in front of you, and he knows you less time than many of you have known me. That's pretty awesome. Thank you for all of your support of me and all my volunteer time away while you were growing up. I hope it taught you to pick up your trash. My partner, Debbie Corner, is the best business partner one could have and I'm so grateful for her friendship for more than 30 years. My husband, Larry, of 33 years, 33 years married. Can you imagine? That means you need to stand up, Larry. <laughs> this is my give back to you. 33 years, it speaks volumes to how many times he might not have really understood where I was going or my methods to get there but he loves the part of me who wants to make a difference and give back. Thank you very much. I saved the best for last, so as I call your name, please stand up, because you're really, really important folks to me. My colleagues at the office, we had a group that came by today to see this moment. They've heard of the Virginia Society of CPAs for many years, and so today they actually get to see something happen, whoever would have thought. I never, I never served, I never volunteered for today, so here I am. In 1989, we did not have a client to our name, but we still found time for the Christmas mother and other community adventures. Right from the gate, we were part of our community in Chesterville County, Virginia. Goldie could not be here today with us, but Mary, um, you can now stand, Mary's been with my firm for 25 years, and we're talking today about how the longevity. It's really very cool, but I'm saving that for just a minute. Mary stuck with me through hard times, good times, and the biggest part of all was no clients. Can you imagine? We had payroll and no clients. So that was pretty daunting 25 years ago. And we still wanted to sponsor a family from the Christmas mother. How do we do that? We find a way. That's what we do. We find a way. We're part of the community. I have other staff here that I'd like to name so they can stand up too. Vicki, Angel, Brenda, Lori, Betty. No, I'm not forgetting you. I just couldn't see you. 
we have at actuarial benefits and design an average of 18 years of service. Um, we have about 29 employees and that really says a lot for longevity. And it means they've hung with me through a lot of crazy thinking. You heard how bold I was in picking up the trash. Just imagine what comes out of my mouth at staff meetings. <laughs> okay? Thank you all very much for being here. I could not do this this year without their absolute support and their ability to be creative to find solutions like we did 25 years ago when we did not have one client to our name. So, the conversation has started. I hope that I hear from each one of you the way you've heard from me at least once, once before you came here and this morning when hopefully you got your bag with your lapel pin and your lifesaver. I hope you become a lifesaver to somebody sitting next to you or somebody you haven't yet met. I hope by my stories that you're going to hear this entire year, sorry, lots of stories, I'm what they call the experienced one, you know? I'm the cusp of the baby boomer, so I have lots of stories to tell you, and I hope that I inspire just one of you to take action with me in one area that is not a traditional CPA service, but an area that needs our skills, our advocacy, and our experience. As leaders, we have an unsaid but understood obligation to help others, and by our own actions, the best thing yet is to teach others how to pick up their own trash. The best is yet to come. Thank you.